welcome back to Fryback 64 Productions. I am Fryback 64, and we're going back in with another episode of Kitty Powers. Now, in the last episode, we got to unlock another trait that we can talk to our clients about. And my glasses are really kind of scary looking. That'll work. Uh, we unlocked a new trait that we can ask our clientele about, and it looks like we've got some mail from our previous matches. So let's. Oh, look at that! Alright, Fry. Miriam and me are still together. We've got married and all. We both live and love ice skating, eh? And I love her so much, I don't care about her unhealthy interest in sleeping all day. And the best bit is I was only ever completely upfront with her. Life don't get much better than it is right now, and it's all thanks to you, Fry. Tara! I mean, uh, Miriam. Aw, oh, well, that's good. And our rep goes up a little bit as a result of that. We got Fiona, how do you work? Aww! Dear Fry, Basil and I are still together and we're engaged! We both really enjoy dragons! No kidding. We're so compatible I can easily live with his obsession with reading sports results. And the best thing is, I was completely honest with him. We're over the moon with everything that's happened. Life just keeps getting better! Lots of love, Fiona and Basil. Well, I guess that quick hair dye session in the middle of our date last time must have really paid off. Clear that out real quick. I don't like keeping a very full mailbox. It looks like we got some new stuff over here. Let's check out the shop. Oh look! We've got a new page available in Kitty's Black Book. We might need that later, but not right now. Oh, we've got the barber and the makeup artist available. Yay! Again, we don't have a whole lot of money to spend on such things, but once we make a little more money, we can get some extra stuff. Now let's delve right into the world of matchmaking! Yay! Use the salon to make your client look th like the sort of person you think they date would be attracted to. Hmm. Okay. You I didn't work with last time. <laughs> yes, Ernest the thrash metal guitarist. Come on down! It's your day, Ernest! We're gonna match you or die trying! <laughs> thrash metal guitarist looking for men! <laughs> Retro games, love hazel eyes and dark brown hair. Oh, relaxed and romantic. Okay. I didn't know that you were relaxed. That's a geeky type if ever I've seen one. Eh. Well then. We have three guys available to you. Well. Well. That one's not going to work. We know that much. Why don't we go ahead and try this Ashley Butter Garden? <laughs> Hello, I'm Ashley Buttergarden. I'm picking, 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 picking. What did I get? Didn't we go there the last time? That's a fancy choice. Didn't we go there the first? We did that as our first date the last time. No more randomly picking things, apparently. Here we go. All right, Ernest, today's your lucky day. We're gonna get you a man. Are you Ashley? You're Ernest. Yeah, we The seating establishment is more than satisfactory. It's popular. Good evening, would you like to order now? Sure, Jean Grey. What would you like? It was the cold dough meat dish. Again, we get the vegetarian. Bubble and squeak. We know bubble and squeak works. Or maybe not. Oh, it's warm. Never mind. Never mind. That's a warm dish. At least we didn't get a ding for it. Oh, let's ask about spicy. Toga party. Do you wear a king size sheet or a napkin? That oh, that's not gonna be good. Let's answer the same question. Well, be honest. That's policy. Well, in his defense, nine times out of ten, the geeky ones aren't necessarily saucy. Now, that's not generalizing for the entire geek population. I know there are several saucy geeks out there. They're just not known for being saucy. What do you think of horoscopes? Yay! At least they both like horoscopes. That's something they've got in common. Ah, oh, yay! They're both Gemini. Oh no, something's happening. What? Oh, that just sounds nasty. Okay, higher or lower, guys? Here we go. I just kind of want to make him fart. Let's try that. 
Temperature's increasing. I'm gonna go higher. Yay! No explosions! Is everything in order? I'm just so happy to be like a belly contain myself. Very pleased to hear that. That could have been extremely embarrassing. It could have been. It could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> All right. Wheel of Topics! Not exactly Wheel of Fortune, but it works. Ooh. Let's talk about clothes. Do you like my outfit? Yeah, it's all right. Thanks. Do you like my outfit? Yeah, that's nice. I'm starting to think that should be really that easy. Good evening. I do hope the food lived up to expectations. Yeah, was sufficient. Would you care to elaborate fancifully? Oh. Uh, here we go. Presentation. <laughs> Patient, hint, aftertaste, the word that everybody hates, and satisfaction. Satisfaction. Yay! I like to think I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like I wasn't just feeding you the words to say the entire time. Yeah, I'm not that keen on him either. Reject them if you know it just won't work. Yeah, well, uh, it's uh, uh, I predict we may uh, see each other uh, around. That was a <laughs> bit disappointing. At least we learned something about him. You can't win them all, you know? Plenty more fish in the sea. Don't worry, Ernest. Don't worry, Ernest. He wasn't right for you. We will find you a sassylicious dude that you will absolutely love. And we will make sure that you two get together and get married and have all the babies. All the babies. Not just some babies, but all the babies. No, you're not going out and taking all the babies. Put the whipped cream down. Uh, uh. Well, I hope There's so. There's bound to be someone in my little black book. I, I know, I hope. Uh, well, we have two. We have two people. Oh, well. Maybe if we get lucky with Herbert here. Uh, let's give it a try. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to I'm going to try to get to the Italian one this time. Oh, 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 oh. I think this is the Italian one. Yes. Very <laughs> nice, hey. That's a fancy choice. Are you making fun of my choice? Are you making fun of my taste in restaurants? I love Italian food, so there, kitty. Just because you don't like it. <laughs> I can feel my heart pounding. That's not the only thing pounding. <laughs> you heard it. Oh, Herbert, his name is Herbert. Remember that, just in case we need it. Oh, he likes the restaurant. That's good. Good evening, me, I take your order. Yes, please. What would you like? I'd like to ingest a hot fish dish. And I utterly refuse to eat mushrooms. Okay, so hot with fish and no mushrooms. So the result of biscuit con fungi is out. Uh Oh goodness. What is this? Mussels and tomato and herb sauce. That sounds good. A oh, wonderful toy! Excellent, it sounds deliciously edible. Muscles are disgusting. Let me just tell you a story. Back when I was in school, I had to eat a muscle. It looked like a bird embryo and felt like one going down. I kid you not. It was disgusting. I'm doing housework, do you get stuck in? Or only clean for guests. Only clean for guests. What is your answer? Only oh, clean for the guests. Yeah! That's kind of how I am. Dinner is a sir, but that's kind of how I am. I don't really clean house that much. Like, I get paranoid if people come over and I apologize profusely, and if I know people are coming over, then I will clean the most basic bits, but. Eh. Oh. You know what? Let's do interest. So I'm not that too interested. Fossil hunting! Fossil hunting is one of those things I remember. I do have an interest in fossil hunting. Come on, you're a nerd. You like it. Just be honest. 
So what do I- oh gosh, what do I have an interest in? Um, I like long walks on the beach, like getting my nails done, and like, oh, okay. Um, uh, retro games! Let's say that. <laughs> he loves retro games! I like retro- ah, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! No! No, it escaped me! No! Ahem, can I interest you with anything from the dessert trolley? Uh, yeah. I'm not sure, but I'm willing to risk the sugary impact on my BMI. <laughs> Very good, I shall fetch the trolley immediately. Oh. <laughs> you could be here all night at this rate. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, the desserts have arrived, they look so edible. Alright guys, help me pay attention. Get cheese board, cappuccino, vanilla ice cream, double espresso skinny latte. Oh gosh. Okay, I think I got that. Oh gosh, which one? Which one? The cheese board! The cheese board! Why would you want the cheese board? I need the spider toys! Oh, you're making my mouth the water with the cheese board! <laughs> Why? Why? Personally, I go for I'd go for like tiramisu or something like you know chocolatey, mm. decadent. That'd be good. Let's talk about the hair, I guess. Oh, oh. 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 I like it. <laughs> it is your meal. I hope you enjoyed the meal. Mm. How much should we tip? Uh, oh gosh! Once again, we need to dig my handy dandy phone out. You would think this time I would be prepared, but apparently not. Um, okay, yeah, just just keep stuffing your face with cheese, my good sir. No, that's not what I wanted. My alarm, my alarm system on my phone is not going to help me calculate the percentage here. Uh, 0.73. Yes, I know we need to figure out this percentage. Keep stuffing your face with cheese. All right, 488. 489, that works. <laughs> 489, that's a decent. I would be happy with that kind of a tip. But then again, I'd be happy with almost any kind of a tip if I were a server. I used to wait tables and stuff. Yeah, well, not really wait tables, but. You like them? Oh. Let's just go ahead and sink it. Yes! Not only did we hook up Ernest, but we hooked up that other guy, Herbert, who was almost impossible to hook up before. Sit in the hot tub, smooch each other, enjoy each other's company. Get out of my office. <laughs> just pay me and leave both of you. Get out of my office. <laughs> Promotion point. Yay! I think we'll do one more. We will do one more. Cause we got to eh, we got time for one more. We can do one more. Let's go to the shop real quick. I'm gonna go grab. I'm gonna grab another page in that black book because we need that. <laughs> we need that. <sighs> because I'm sorry, I cannot deal with just two or three options for a customer. That kind of pigeonholes me and I don't like it. Okay, which one? I love your hair! Come over here, what is your name? Isabella, an indie game developer looking for a man. All right. You sound like my kind of girl, come on down, Isabella. Indie game developer looking for a man interested in movie props, life drawing, and cosplay. <gasps> you are a girl after my own heart, my dear. I love cosplay. I dressed up as Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy twice in the, over the course of like two years. Describe myself as relaxed and spicy. Ooh. Do tell, my dear, do tell. Mm. Bit of a geeky type. Yes, of course they're a geeky type. Can I poke you? Ha <laughs> <laughs> I can poke you in the waiting room. <laughs> Don't worry, Isabella. I only poke you because I love you, dearie. Oh, my. Oh, my. Look at all the wonderful men we have available for you here. Well, let's just start at the top. You... Yeah, you don't look like... No. Again, sporty. Sporty. Hmm. Something, perhaps? Maybe. Oh. Oh, yes. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Again, my dinner popped up to say hello. Hudson Wagmore. <laughs> I poke you. I have way too much fun with that. 
Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try to get to the French one. Um, I don't know. Right this one. Ah! You was right. You have to shut out this car go. Bring me a doggy bag. Shut out this car go. You have to say it with the French accent, or else it doesn't really work. Besides, this car go is so much more fun to say with the French accent. Oh ho ho! Watch what the two, you know what I mean. Ah, a fine uh, looking eating establishment, this is. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to hook the two of you up. <laughs> Hudson and Isabella, everybody. Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. This place is very fancy. It's arguably in the top percent. Who talks like that? Uh, good evening. Well, oh, that's not Good evening. Would you be ready to order now? <laughs> the French accent is so hot. What is your preferred sustenance? Hot with white meat. All right. Hot with white meat. Oh. Uh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Frog legs, everybody. Oh no. You'd make a marvelous waiter. <laughs> Would you like a? <laughs> Would you like a frog's legs? Her <laughs> own special today. <laughs> Buy a few, get the rest of the frog free. <laughs> Let's talk about interest. Anime movies. Where's anime movies? Anime movies. <laughs> ah! It only makes sense that a cosplayer would love anime movies. It only makes sense. You like cosplay. Two similar interests. Oh, I want you two to get together. Dinner is served. Here we go again. What shall we talk about now? This is how I want every conversation to go when I go out for dinner. Just have a wheel, spin it, random topic pops up. Boom, we're talking about this today, hon. What's your opinion of horoscopes? <laughs> Fascinating. Mm. Entertaining. I'm mm. oh, Gemini. I'm um, mm. Scorpio. Oh. Oh. oh, that's... Oh. Hey, just because your horoscopes don't match... Oh. Are you serious? Well... <laughs> actually... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can see frog's legs giving you gas. Oh, this is not going very well. Honesty isn't always the best policy. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Hey. This is not going very well for you, hun. This is not going very well at all. Uh, well, let's talk about... Well... Uh... Yeah, let's do interests. He likes archery. Uh, mm. oh. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. What are you into then? Movie props! Which would have something to do with archery if they happen to be making it. Ah! Fix it! Fix it! Fix it right now! Thank you. As I was saying, movie props would have something to do with archery if they were doing, say, Lord of the Rings or some other movie that involved shooting a bow and arrow. Isaac! That. No, that makes sense. Go over here, Isaac! We need our bell! Chop, chop! Excuse me. Here is your bill. I went half Italian on that. <laughs> you have more gratitude. Well spotted. My memory banks are functioning at normal level. The waiter looked so pleased you remembered them. Maybe he doesn't get remembered very often. Wouldn't it be expedient for us to leave then? That wasn't too bad. Well, let's just ask if we can see them again. <laughs> Do you visit a further meeting? Yeah, I don't want to take the. I don't want to take. Yeah, I don't want to take the ding for that. So they seem to fit the criteria. Give him another chance. Give him another chance. There we go. All right, and I think I'm gonna leave that episode right there with a little cliffhanger. Are Isabella and Hudson gonna get together? Will they go on a second date with each other? Or will Isabella pick somebody else? I don't know. We will have to see. We will leave it right there. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section like, hey, I love kitty powers, or hey, this is awesome, but maybe you should try playing this. I would love to play whatever video games you guys have to suggest for me. And go ahead and hit the share button as well. I guarantee you, even if you don't like this, you probably know somebody else who does. 
So this has been Kitty Powers Matchmaker, and until next time, this is Frewex64, signing off.